Frank Reich situation. They have Josh McCown there to work directly with the quarterback, Jim Caldwell. Whoever shows up there, I believe they have Andy Dalton to be the starter for however long that goes. You don't have to throw a guy out there on the field. Whoever winds up in Carolina, I think, winds up the big winner in all of this. Obviously, you want to be the number one pick. But frankly, if the two were reversed, if Houston was picking one and Carolina was picking two, I think down deep inside, you'd rather be two than one. You want to get to Carolina. But to answer your question directly, in the mock that we did last week, C.J. Stroud went one. Now, Mel has flipped it to Young one uh, as of today. If I had to bet on it, I would bet that when it happens that Bryce Young will be the first pick. Mel, what happened? Why do you think it got flopped over in the last week or so? Well, you just look at, you know, it's it's intangible. It's not exactly the same as, uh, you know, a guy like C.J. Stroud. Obviously, he played for under Nick Saban. He's got the great relationship with Tepper and his wife. Went out to dinner with him many times. Uh, You know, Carolina is not that far from Tuscaloosa, so it makes a lot of sense, you know. CJ Stroud, Midwestern kid by way of California. Just don't know if he's going to really like playing on the East Coast as much. So that's why I went with CJ Stroud. Okay, but it was a one week change, though. What happened? Did this all happen in the last week? Well, as you know, you know, the NFL's fucking crazy. Things change. Uh, Rumor <laughs> has it CJ Stroud, you know, him and Mulligata maybe kind of, you know, pulling strings a little bit, pissing a lot of people off, mm-hmm. maybe demanding the kind of things that uh, the other guy who I won't mention his name, you know, up in Cleveland, you know, maybe he was demanding some things too. I heard about that in uh, Houston, maybe being a thing. Uh, well, you know, exactly. Exactly. Could, could, could be. So that's kind of where I'm standing right now. We'll see. I mean, we still got two weeks to go before the draft. Might have a couple more changes. Who knows? Check back next week. Will Levis might be going number one to Carolina. I don't know yet. Okay. Thank you, Mel. Wow. Thank you, Mel. Boy, that's so good. My God, is that good. Dude, he can say anything, too. It's a fun little game. Like, Coach Lou Holtz was here just a couple minutes ago, and I think he just came back. Coach Lou Holtz, have you heard about Mel Kuyper's review of C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young and what's going on in Cleveland? Yeah, listen, I don't know how many times we got to do this, okay? Every time you bring up that son of a bitch, Mel Kuyper, my blood boils just a little bit hotter than it did when you mentioned it previously. C.J. Stroud's a good kid, but he's no Bryce Young. Bryce Young, everyone's talking. Talking about him being the next Chef Curry. We're talking about Chef Curry right now. Four championships. Like, like Bryce, you know, CJ Stroud's going to win four championships? I don't think so. But I think Bryce Young, you know, he put him in the right situation. David Kepper got all word. that money. Yeah. Uh, that would be a tough one. Good. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Oh, so Thank you, coach. It's unbelievable. He can say anything. You know, you should hear what he says off air at these people. (laughs) Mm -hmm. These people just show up in conversation sometime out of nowhere, and they are not speaking. Just Hulk Hogan last hour. Yeah, Hulk Hogan was in the last hour just going crazy on Pac-Man for his disrespect to the scarlet Mm -hmm. in which he was rocking. Um, It's the whole draft process. To add on to your point about Carolina being the top destination for one of these guys, which I assume Panthers fans could have never guessed they were going to be in that position that long ago. (laughs) Remember, they've been – Tepper's been just like – who can win? I want to win now. Who can win? I want to win now. Now it's like, hey, this seems to be a good spot to go to and be uh, the quarterback of second richest owner in the sport. Now, who knows if Bezos is coming in or not, but second owner, uh, richest owner in sport, you win for that guy. He's going to pay you a lot of fucking money, too. Like, that's not one of those teams that don't have money. It's like a dream situation for a young quarterback to go in there and have success. Hopefully, they'll be able to build up the team around him because situationally, there are a lot of quarterbacks that kind of get fucked out of the NFL. Uh, and thank you to Mad Bell Kuyper mm-hmm. and Lou Holtz for being there. 